So I picked up a 2004 Stingray with a Volvo Penta SXM outdrive on it. And um, had some issues with it. It shipped in the drive or forward and RPMs would come up, but uh, it wouldn't uh, actually be engaging with the prop. Um, and then if you brought up the RPMs a little bit more, you get this big clunk and then you'd be fine and everything would go. Well, um, stupid me, I let the guy convince me that it was a um, shift cable adjustment. So I take it out for test drive. He convinces me of that and um, I said, all right, so readjust it and I'll come back, pick the boat up. So come back, he says, yeah, everything's great. Okay, take you home. Take it on the lake, everything's not great. Doing the same thing. And I just figured, well, maybe he's got the wrong oil in there. I know Volvos are pretty fussy. So, check the oil, it's blue. Pretty sure Volvo synthetic oil for this drive is supposed to be amber. So, we get the Volvo oil, put it in there, no change. So the last thing I do is adjust the shift cable myself. No change, thing gets progressively worse. Ends up stranding me on the lake. Uh, just barely was able to limp it in and so at that point I was pretty sure it was the clutch and I'm going to show you why I think that or at this point why I know that um, and I guess what I'm going to try to do is fix that so here is uh, I've already started work here before I started filming I probably should have started from the beginning but anyways I'll show you the shift mechanism in a minute, but what we got here is this is your forward gear and this is your reverse gear. It's a pinion that comes in from the back from the engine and this here is your clutch. This rides on a vertical shaft. You can see it sort of helixes as it goes up and down. Um, the vertical shaft goes down to your lower unit and drives the gears down there to the prop. So sitting right here is your shift mechanism. This guy. So this guy bolts up here And when you shift in the forward or reverse, this cable here moves in or out, moves all this linkage around, which connects to this arm. So as this arm turns one way or the other, this shifting dog, which is on a cam eccentric, moves up up or down so that rides in that groove there and pushes this clutch up for reverse down for forward now this is a cone clutch these gears are coned in there and the clutch is a, a brass cone and it relies on friction as it gets pushed down there it has very intimate contact with that cone and grabs well I use my finger and push up or down and turn the prop at the same time when I go like that it grabs in reverse very nicely just like it does out on a lake and when I push down for forward um, it does grab if I push very hard but if I even release a little bit of pressure on the prop and then try to turn it again, it slips. And that's exactly what it's doing out on the lake. I'm, I'm to the point now where I can be under load. If I just back off the throttle a little bit, it completely lets go of my RPMs. Skyrocket. So, what I'm guessing is that the clutch, the cone clutch is glazed. And probably the, the surface of the, um, the gear as well. So... I have uh, been digging on the internet extensively and also in the manuals and I'm gonna 
try to break that glaze, replace that clutch. The problem is these gears and everything in there is shimmed exactly for the perp, um, correct lash <coughs> and the correct um, ma mating pattern with the, the gear teeth. So theoretically, if I put all the shims back in the same exact spot, we should be good. But uh, we'll look into that further. So the first thing I need to do is actually take this whole outdrive off because in order to get this gear out and lap that surface, um, I need to pull this back off of the pinion so that that can actually act, be pulled out. So, how do you do that? Manual says the cover here As a dipstick hole, and you put a lifting eye there, you can lift the whole thing off with an engine hoist. Oh, I should also mention when I took this cover off, very important, there is a shim. I can't see it, but there's a shim right there. Very important that that gets put back in the exact same spot. Um, anyways, so I don't have an engine hoist, and Quite honestly, I wasn't quite sure how I would get it in there with the swim deck over there like that. So, uh, some others on YouTube have done this as well. Built a little frame on a dolly, and my thought is that it will rest on these plates. And once I undo the trim cylinders and undo these six nuts here, that this will slide off. We'll see how easy that is. Uh, might need to actually actuate the trim, put the cylinders back on, and move the trim up and down a little bit to create some pressure and break that seal. But uh, we'll find out. So after take, after taking this shifter linkage apart, uh, you want to take off this little nut that was on here. Save the washer and cotter pin. Thread that off. And then on the side here, get this little retainer plate that is uh, grabbing the cable jacket there. And there's one 3 8 inch bolt holding it in. Just uh, get in there with a the box end. Take that puppy off. And then the cable should be freed up. 